cron tab. It is a great way to set up uh, for applications and scripts to run at certain times, days, months, whenever you want it to run. But even though the syntax seems fairly simple when you first look at it, when you actually go to do something like if you want something to run every five minutes or every other day or something like that, it could get complicated. Well, here is how I go about generating my commands for my cron tab file. Here is a great website I have used for years, crontab-generator.org. Now, if you set cron jobs uh, using crontab, which is basically a way to get programs to run at certain times and days based on when you want them to run, it seems simple, but it's also complicated and sometimes it's a little hard to wrap your head around. It is so easy to use this website. So let's say I have a program that I want to run every day at 1.34 a.m., right? So I come down here is I can have it run every minute, uh, every even minute, odd minutes, every five minutes, but I want it to run at, what did I say? I'll say 34 after, we'll say 1 a.m. I want it to do it every day, every month, every day of the week. And then down here, I give it the, the command. Uh, let's say it's a backup, right? Uh, you should give it the full path is the proper way to do this. It gives you some examples here if you want to run a PHP or dump a MySQL database or run a wget thing. Uh, but we're just going to put the command in there. And then down here, do you want to execute and mute the output? That way if there's an error, it doesn't uh, put it anywhere. Or you can have it save it to a file or email it to you. Then you click generate and you put this in your cron tab. So we'll copy that. We'll go to our shell. That's not our shell. This is our shell, cron tab dash E, and then we'll go down to the bottom. You can see I have a few things in here, and I would just add that line. And now, every day at 1.34 a.m., it's going to run my backup script. Let's not save that. Let's look at another example. Let's say you want something to run on the first of every month. Well, let's. when do you want it to run? Do you, you don't want it to run every minute. We'll say run at, let's say, 8 a.m., so right at 8 a.m., or you can say three minutes after. We'll say right at 8 a.m. Uh, and we will say run it on every month, or maybe we want to do even months. And let's say we want to actually run uh, only during the week, right? So maybe we're going to do a backup every morning before business starts, and uh, we want to run only on days that we're there because nothing's happening on the weekend, so our last backup would be on Friday. Uh, here we're saying even months. We'll say every month though. So, because that's more logical, right? So we're going to run this. No, we're going to run at 8 a.m. First minute, every day, every month, but only Monday through Friday. That's our command. We will continue. And now you can see it's running at 8 a.m. And it's running uh, days one through five. It's running that. And we just copy that and put it in our cron tab. That's it. Super simple. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description, but it's crontab-generator.org. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.